We're about to take the highway to the danger zone, again. Hey guys, it's Phoebe from WatchMojo, and today we're counting down the top 10 most anticipated films of 2020. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We're taking a look at films that have us the most excited for 2020. Keeping in mind that studios have a tendency to shift things around, release dates are subject to change. Let's take a look. Number 10, Ghostbusters sequel. Release date, July 10th, 2020. 2016's Ghostbusters, or Ghostbusters Answer the Call, wasn't a financial success, divided audiences, and sparked controversy that got way out of hand. Rather than expanding upon the reboot, the studio is going back to basics, giving fans a sequel to the first two movies. Ivan Reitman is returning to produce, but his son, Oscar nominee Jason Reitman, will direct. The filmmaker behind Juno and Thank You for Smoking is also co-writing the screenplay with Gil Keenan of Monster House. It remains to be seen if any original cast members will reprise their iconic roles, but the new crew consists of two males and two females. Are we setting ourselves up to get slimed again, or could this sequel breathe new life into the franchise? Batman, what happened? Are you okay? He slimed me. That's great! Actual physical contact! Number 9. Top Gun Maverick. Release date June 26, 2020. I feel the need. The need for speed. We know what Archer's most anticipated movie of 2020 is. We honestly never expected to see a follow up to Top Gun, especially after 34 years. Then again, we also weren't expecting the Mission Impossible movies to still be going strong over a decade later. The occasional misstep aside, Tom Cruise hasn't lost his magic touch which gives us hope that Top Gun Maverick will be a sequel that audiences never knew they wanted. Val Kilmer is also back on board as Iceman, while Miles Teller climbs into the cockpit as Goose's son. With a supporting cast that includes John Hamm, Jennifer Connelly, and Ed Harris, we can't fight this feeling that the film might just take our breath away. Let's head back into the danger zone. It took me 33 years to figure out the sequel. I'm, I'm a little slow, but sometimes <laughs> yeah, I figure really it took out. took your time on that yeah, one, yeah. Right, yeah just, Sometimes I'm a little slow. Number eight, Morbius. Release date, July 31st, 2020. I need a machine gun. Jared Leto's portrayal of the Joker wasn't the most well-received, but to the actor's credit, it's not like he was given much screen time to create a fleshed out character. We believe that Leto has the charisma to put a unique spin on a twisted comic book character like Morbius, the living vampire. Stemming from the Spider-Man comics, Morbius started out as an antagonist, but has since evolved into an anti-hero. The same can be said about the titular character of Venom, which kicked off Sony's Marvel Universe, with mixed reviews but glowing box office results. Morbius is also part of the SMU with Daniel Espinoza of Life and Safe House directing, giving fans of vampires and superheroes alike something to sink their teeth into. Feel so weak. I need more plasma. Number 7, Onward, release date March 6, 2020. When it comes to Pixar, it doesn't take more than a couple plot details and some concept art to get us excited. Nearly 25 years after Toy Story, the animation studio has maintained its reputation for certified excellence, and Onward sounds like another winner. Director Dan Scanlon of Monsters University drew inspiration from real-life experiences for this suburban fantasy adventure. Chris Pratt and Tom Holland venture from the MCU to the Pixar universe as two elf brothers in search of magic that can reunite them with their father. While all of their films have a fantastical element, Pixar's rarely delved into the high fantasy genre outside of Brave. Even in a world populated by elves and unicorns, though, we can always expect a very human story. It was an alliance forged in bravery and friendship, and it lives to this day. Number 6, Birds of Prey. Release date, February 7th, 2020. Something tells me a whole lot of people are about to die. Before Margot Robbie assumed the mantle and mallet of Harley Quinn, the character made her first live-action appearance in the short-lived TV series Birds of Prey. The all-female superhero team will be revisited in this DCEU movie, with Harley taking center stage. Robbie is reprising her role, but will ditch the Suicide Squad for a new crew that includes Journey Smollett-Bell as Black Canary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress, and Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya. Together, they'll go up against Ewan McGregor's Black Mask and Chris Messina's Victor Zaz. 
to protect young Cassandra Cain, who becomes Batgirl in the comics. Fresh off her feature directorial debut in Dead Pigs, Kathy Yan will make history as the first Asian woman to helm a major superhero movie. You're not stupid. You're smart. You are worth it. Number 5. Godzilla vs. Kong Release date March 13th, 2020 Through the two Godzilla films and Kong Skull Island, Legendary has been warming us up for the ultimate monster mash in Godzilla vs. Kong. This won't be the first time these two heavy-hitting titans have clashed on the silver screen. 1962's King Kong vs. Godzilla is really starting to show its age, however, and it's about high time this premise was rebooted with modern effects. Much like how The Avengers was a milestone for the MCU, this is the crossover event that the MonsterVerse has been building towards. We're not sure how this franchise is going to top itself after getting its two most iconic monsters together. For all we know, though, Godzilla vs. Kong is only the tip of the Empire State Building. Kong is not the only king. Number 4. Bond 25. Release date April 8th, 2020. Shaken or stirred? Do I look like I give a damn? The 25th Bond film has endured a shaky production, with Daniel Craig at one point saying he'd rather commit suicide than return as 007. Craig apparently came around, as he signed up to play Mr. Bond at least one more time. If this is the end of the Craig era, here's hoping Bond 25 reaches the same heights as Casino Royale and Skyfall. Although Oscar winner Danny Boyle dropped out as director over creative differences, the project has found a promising replacement in Kerry Joji Fukunaga. The American director won a primetime Emmy for his work on True Detective, most notably pulling off a mind-blowing six-minute single take. Now just imagine what Fukunaga could accomplish with a bigger budget and a franchise like James Bond. I need you to be an Amelia streak between 18th and 19th in 90 seconds, you got it? Number 3. Wonder Woman 1984 Release date June 5th, 2020 If no one else will defend the world from Ares, then I must. Having completed filming in late 2018, the sequel to Wonder Woman was originally set to come out the following November, but was ultimately pushed to summer 2020. Where the first film took place during World War I, this second chapter jumps ahead to 1984, which will set the stage for a third film in modern times. Star Gal Gadot and director Patty Jenkins re-team for a story that pits Diana Prince against the Soviet Union, as well as Kristen Wiig as the Cheetah. While the DCEU has had its ups and downs, Wonder Woman remains a landmark motion picture, and we believe the follow-up will continue to break new ground. Between Birds of Prey and this film, powerful women should dominate the superhero scene in 2020. Number 2. Avatar 2. Release date, December 18th, 2020. <laughs> Avatar did the unthinkable upon release, surpassing Titanic as the highest grossing movie of all time. You'd think James Cameron would thus rush out a sequel ASAP. Being a perfectionist, however, Cameron took his time mapping out the next four sequels, with the first follow-up coming out over a decade after its predecessor. The film's delay can be partially attributed to Cameron's ambitious vision. Having spent the past several years developing technology that can shoot motion capture performances underwater. Although people have mixed feelings about the first film, there's no denying that it was a cinematic event that created one of the most vivid worlds in all of sci-fi. We're eager to explore more of Pandora and see what new tricks Cameron has up his sleeve. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. And it's really about these three generations uh, sort of trying to find home and, and what that means to wow, them. Wow, it's amazing. No, how do we sum it up? How do we sum it up? We're we wrapping up Jungle Cruise. We wanted to make something very special for the world to enjoy. And burn you. This is a great movie. It's a spaghetti western, the, the best one, underappreciated. Number one, Dune. Release date, November 20th, 2020. A beginning is a very delicate time. Despite gaining something of a cult following, 1984's Dune was a notorious box office and critical dud, not to mention a rare blemish on director David Lynch's career. Fans have wanted to see Frank Herbert's Hugo Award-winning novel done justice on the big screen for almost 55 years. We can't think of a more qualified director to helm this adaptation than Denis Villeneuve, who received an Oscar nomination for Arrival and successfully followed up a classic with Blade Runner 2049. 
The film's cast is beyond impressive, with names like Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Jason Momoa, Josh Brolin, and Oscar Isaac, just to name a few. Avatar 2 may make more money, but we're willing to wager that Dune will define the sci-fi genre in 2020. It's, it's a very powerful story that is a mirror our times. So what do you guys think? What movies are you most excited for in 2020? Keep an eye out for me in the comments below because I'll be posting my personal picks. And don't forget to like and subscribe.